Hey everyone and welcome to VR Flight World. In this episode we're going to be taking a flight from Birmingham Airport and we're going to be flying all the way to Oxford Airport. And this is with the new Orbix, uh, well not new anymore, but the Orbix uh, South Great Britain scenery. And uh, But today we're going to be flying in a Cessna 172, but this is a different Cessna 172. It looks like the default, but it's the, the Reality Expansion Pack. So if you haven't seen this aircraft before, uh, you're in for a treat. This is a, a nice uh, aircraft that has a lot of features to it. Um, and the nice thing about it is it works with the, the default 172. Uh, so it runs really well and it has a lot of features that uh, make them handy for you. So let's go over a few of the features here. So over here we have the menus and you'll notice right now that I'm running in 2D and uh, I'm going to be flipping over to VR when we take our flight. This has kind of been how I've been flying lately. So I start in 2D and uh, and then once I get ready and everything's set up, then I'll flip it over to, to the VR and we'll do my flight in VR and then I can flip it back to 2D whenever I need to. So it's pretty easy to flip back and forth now with the new X-Plane. With this version right now is 11.50. Alright, so let's take a look at some of these features here. Um, so here's the kneeboard and uh, it has our checklists and everything in here. We can flip through and we can go through all our checklists. Uh, let's see here. So we got takeoff before takeoff. Let's go all the way to the beginning here. Engine start. So we'll go over that in a second. We also have our mass and balance. So you can make adjustments here. I have 275 kilogram people in the front. All right. So it says we have about 10 gallons of fuel in each tank. And now you can see it's 165 for weight. Um, that's probably a little on the low side. Let's do, uh, let's add some more weight in here. It's a pretty small adult. So let's do 190 and then 165 for the passenger. And then we have that. So that's, that's fine. Let's apply that change. So now we got uh, our walk around here. Um, before I do, well, I'm going to do the walk around, but before I start the engine here, we're going to actually tow this back because if you look over here, we got some stuff pretty close to us. So it'd be a tight squeeze to get out of here. So um, we also have maintenance records. So as you can see, we got lots of different things, diff all this information that we can use um, to check our maintenance of our plane. Um, I've recently just updated this plane, so a lot of this information is fairly new for it. Well, this this is not new. This this has been in the the reality expansion pack, but I just reinstalled everything, so all my information is pretty new. Uh, you could ha check this if you want to do an automatic engine start, but we're going to go the route of using our checklist. So let's go do a walk around first. So the first thing it checks, uh, it brings you over here to your pitot tube cover. Um, so you can actually take this off and we're going to go next and we're going to take off our tie down and take off the other tie down and we're going to take off our chocks and we're going to remove the air inlets. So it's also going over different things like you can check the propeller and spinner, uh, check for security and oil leaks. So we're going to pop those out. Um, here's another tie down and then you're also looking at the landing lights here. So I'm going to turn on the lights later and we're going to uh, take another look here. Uh, we're going to take this chalk out. Uh, and let's do our light check here. So we're going to toggle, so I can hit the toggle switch here and that's going to turn on all our lights as well as our master. Come out here, we can check, make sure our beacon is running. And we got all any other lights that we need are running as well. So you can see our strobes working. We have our landing lights and taxi lights. And you can see our strobe is working. So now you can toggle them off again here, but I'm gonna flip on our beacon. I like to have the beacon on because if the master's ever on, uh, our beacon light will go. All right, so that's our walk around here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push our aircraft back. So let's get in position here. Now we have no chocks anymore, so we can give this a push. Um, it's saying uh, disable the brakes, of course. So we have to go into our plane here and disable the brakes before uh, we can do this. So let's go back here. 
turn off tow, come down here, and we're going to turn off our brakes. And we're going to get out of our plane again. And now we're set here. So now to operate this, as it says here, use your pitch and roll axis um, of your joystick to move your plane around. So we're going to push it forward. And there she goes. Now let's see if we can, yeah. So as I rotate the plane here, it uh, moves it. So it's like we're pushing them back by hand, which is, there we go. That's probably plenty of room there. Now we're going to turn off our toe, come back in here. Let's set our park brake again so our plane doesn't want to roll on us. And we're going to go and start this plane up. So first thing we're going to do is bring up our check, our kneeboard checklist, and we're going to go through our checklist. So we got our seatbelt, shoulder harnesses on. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, brakes set and test. Yeah, we just did our brakes. Um, we can play with our brakes here and here. I'll just test the brakes. So yeah, we got brakes, that's great. Um, let's see here, we got fuel selector on both, which it is. We have our fuel shutoff valve on. Yep, circuit breaker check. So come up here, an easy way to see all this information underneath here. Oh, so what's going on here? There we go. Uh, easy way to see all this information under here is click on this. So we got our beacon is on, so I already have that on. Our avionics is off, correct? Uh, we're master switch. Let's turn that on. And we're going to open our throttle a quarter inch and uh, bring our mixture down to idle cutoff. And then uh, if our engine is cold, what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the auxiliary um, pump. So our fuel pump. And uh, we're going to bring our mixture up. So we're going to bring our mixture up until we get a three to five gallon per hour um, flow. So we're going to see that up here. And then we're going to turn off our our pump uh, and uh, before we start our engine. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. So now we're our engine is primed. We're going to take a look outside the plane, look off to the left here, in front of us, off to the side, make sure no one's around the prop. Uh, you could open your window, but in this plane you cannot open the window because it's the default 172, but you can open the door and clear prop. We can yell outside there, clear prop. And I'm going to close that door. There you go. And let's start this. So once it's clear, what we're going to do is we're going to bring our magneto all the way to start and then we're going to once it, our engine starts we're going to slowly bring our mixture forward or smoothly bring our mixture forward and uh, then bring this down to a thousand and immediately once we have that uh, engine started we're going to make sure that our oil pressure is in the green and that our temperature is starting to rise so those are if we flip the page here that's going to be our next step here so uh um so our ignition switch should be on both once we start. Uh, mixture is going to be rich once we start. And engine is going to be a 1000 RPM. Oil pressure check. Mixture leaned after this. So we'll continue on at this point once we have the engine started. But that's what we'll do. And those all kind of happen um, right away. Because you want to be checking the oil pressure immediately. So as you can see, our oil pressure is in the green and uh, our temperature will start to rise here as our, our engine heats up. We've brought it down to about a thousand RPM. I could probably lower this a little bit more. I'm gonna lean the engine out um, just so we don't foul our plugs. And this, this plane here will tell you if you're gonna foul your plugs. Uh, if you're running at under a thousand RPM, it'll uh, give you a, a little warning on the top of the screen here telling you to 
set that up and bring up your uh, your RPM. And so all I did to lean the mixture um, was I just brought it down until I saw a little peak in the, the RPM. And then once I saw it drop again, uh, I knew that was as far as I could go. So I brought it back up to where I saw that peak. Um, and then my that was my mixture was set. So yeah, we met, so we skipped a lot of our walk around and uh, that saves us a little bit of time. But there was um, essentially you can go around, check all the flaps, uh, check your uh, all the all the surfaces around the whole airplane and it kind of walks you around everything as you go which is pretty neat but uh, because of that we didn't check our flaps so we're going to do that now we're going to check our flaps both coming down yep good and we're going to bring them right back up because this is the point where we should have them up and make sure they're up yep they are up so flaps up now let's turn on our avionics And we're going to check our instruments, so let's make sure everything is looking how it should. Alright, that should be about right for that. Uh, let's see, Harold, what else do we have to check? So, altimeter. So, we're going to get our ATIS here. So, I'm going to set up our radios. I'll probably fast forward this for you. And uh, I'm going to set it up so we have our radio set up on this. And uh, we might actually already have this on. Uh, I just want to confirm that. So we got 121.80, perfect. And the tower here is 118.30, so we have that set up. So we'll keep it on uh, on the ground uh, for now. And uh, we can always flip that over before we take off. We're not going to worry about the, the radios in this this video here. And uh, we're just, so we're probably not going to worry about flipping this over, but I like to have it programmed in because it gives me the habit of doing that. Um, down here, we have our second radio so we have this on com 2 and I have my mic on com 1 here so this one here I'll show you in a second we're gonna have that on the ATIS I'm just gonna confirm the ATIS, ATIS number so the ATIS here is 136.02 so 136.02 and the closest I get to is uh, 025 so let's uh, flip on our ATIS here Birmingham information Foxtrot 1500 Zulu weather Wind light and variable, visibility 10. Sky conditions 2400 broken, temperature 8, 2.5. Altimeter 3015. Arriving runway 15, departing runway 15. Advise on initial contact you have Foxtrot. All right, so uh, let's turn that off before it comes back on again. All right, so let's set up our altimeter. 3015 it's right about there so now I can confirm my uh, the height of my airport is around the same as this and that's correct so they have us taken off on um, runway 15 which is uh, over here on the right as we go um, and we're gonna be taking off this direction so it's uh, we'll, we'll do our, our run up I'll we'll program in our flight plan and then we'll do our run up and then away we go so our flight plan is programmed in and we are pretty much good to go. Uh, we're going to stop up here a little ways and do a run up. Um, and before that we have to do a couple checks en route. So en route we have our taxi, we have to check our brakes, magnetic compass, uh, make sure its movement is free, and uh, flight instruments. So we'll check those to make sure they match up with our compass and that kind of thing and everything else is working fine. So let's move out and uh, we'll see how this goes.
All right, as you can see, I'm kind of making a wide turn here. And what I'm going to be doing is uh, kind of an S pattern just to see if all my gauges are working properly. And uh, it looks like they are. All right, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just spin around and uh, we are going to be setting ourselves up into the wind, even though there is no wind. I can't actually see the, the sock, but it, they said the winds are supposed to be light and variable. Um, so we're not overly concerned about the wind and we're going to do a quick run up here. All right, so bring up our checklist one more time, and we're gonna go into the next page here before takeoff here. So parking brakes set, yes. Uh, flight controls free and clear. Let's do a quick check. Yeah, that one's good. So a little bit further, I couldn't see that down here. That one's good. Spin around and look at the... Okay, let's check this here. Let's go up. Let's go up a little bit here so I can see. So up, down looks good. So that looks good. Alright, so our controls look great. So let's just take one more look at our compass here. It looks a little off, so... Uh, let's come back right about there. Perfect. And uh, now let's make sure, let's go on the next one here. Fuel selector to both, yes. Uh, elevator trim is at takeoff, perfect. And mixture, we're going to put it on rich. So the autopilot disconnect. Uh, So that works and throttle up to 1800 rpm let's check our ammeter over here it's looking good so the rest of the engine instruments are uh, looking fine everything's in the green that's what we want fuel flows what kind of what we'd expect uh, so let's go on to magnetos here and check our magnetos. So let's watch for a drop in the RPM. Um, there you go. So they're about the same for both the left and the right. So that's perfect. And let's drop our idle to or sorry, our, our throttle to idle. And the plane is still running and things look good. So we're going to bring it up to a thousand. 
All right, so let's go check our, so our radios are set. We checked that before we left. So then it's release the brakes, doors uh, closed, which they are, uh, flaps as required, which we're gonna have no flaps on this flight because we're in the Cessna 172, and mixture um, to uh, rich below 3000, so we're still at rich. Let's turn on our lights. Uh, so let's turn on our, right now we're taxiing and uh, let's turn some navs and strobes. So we're all ready to go. Let's see here. So our transponder to on. And we're going to be putting it full full power. And then we're going to be at 79 knots is going to be our climb speed. And uh, then that's, that's going to be it. So let's uh, get up into the air and then we're going to follow our magenta line here and off to our next airport. So we have one more step and that's to get back into VR. So let's do that now. All right, guys, so now we are in VR. So let's uh, take off our brakes and let's, let's get on the runway. So it's so much easier to kind of get a sense of what's happening in your plane when you're in VR. It's just so much nicer to see. All right, I don't see anything coming up this way. So we're gonna continue up. Flip over our radio here since we set it up. So now we're gonna get onto the runway here. Everything looks good, compass and everything matches. So let's get up in the air. And uh, one thing I noticed with this plane is you really need to watch that right rudder. Right off the bat, it needs a lot of right rudder. Which is what I found in the real plane. There you go, I even need more right rudder. Oh, too much. Uh, but you really have to stay on top of that. Which is what I found before. So down a little bit, we're going a little too slow. We're going to kind of put our nose about there and hold that. Just trim that out there. And see, I, I'm having to hold quite a bit of right rudder right now, which is realistic. So let's take a look around. few minor stutters at the moment, but uh, for the most part, I'm probably running around 45 frames per second. Alright, let's not get too high here, because we have some cloud cover, so we don't want to get into that, so let's lower it down and uh, let our airspeed pick up. So we're going to just lower down, we'll stay right around here is fine probably for, there you go, here's 100, let's just bring our RPM back to about 2100, and keep your nose right around there. I may even want to go down a little lower here, I'm pretty high for the clouds, so we're going to just let herself drift down a little bit. And uh, as you can see, I'm quite a bit off my line here. So let's go find my line. Get back on our flight plan. Alright, 
we'll just intersect the line. And a nice sharp turn here. And there it is. Let's get back on that line. drift on this way again we kind of went off our line again so we'll come back over here and pick up our line again Alright, so one neat thing in BR to do is to try flying outside your plane. It's, it's kind of a pretty neat experience. As you can see, this pretty nice scenery. This is the, again, the Orbix True Earth, uh, Great Britain South scenery. Um, right now I have it on high. Uh, my scenery and everything's on high. Uh, I don't have it on max, but uh, it looks pretty good just the way it is. And this is in VR. And of course, we're running the new Vulcan updates uh, in x Plane 11, so that's really helping. So as we approach our airport here, we're going to change our ATIS. So our ATIS is 136.22, so let's go ahead and change that. So this would have been something smart to do before I got in the airplane, but... I had the other one on this ATIS, but that's okay, it's pretty close. 36.22. Let's try that again. All right, so two two. Uh, that point five might just have to stay there. Let's try it. Let's see what we get. Oxford kit Lincoln information call. Sixteen hundred Zulu weather. Wind light and variable. Visibility 7. Sky conditions 2700 overcast. Temperature 8. 2.6. Altimeter 3012. Arriving runway 01. Departing runway 01. Advise on initial contact you have called. There. Just make sure my altimeter is set correctly. And my runway is going to be zero one, and we're getting pretty close. Let's uh, zoom this in one more. Oh, not two. There you go, one more. So we're just coming up to another airport, Echo Golf Tango November, by the looks of it. And then we should be at our runway next. So we'll. Uh, Plan for a landing here, and uh, he said zero one for the runway. So, so about three minutes and fifty seconds before we get there. All right, so we're going to turn off our autopilot here. We've been flying a little bit with autopilot, a little bit uh, hand flying things, and uh, let's kill that autopilot. So I have a button built in. 
Uh, but if you're ever looking to kill the autopilots right here on your... There's the, the button for the autopilot right there on your yoke. And that is right where my autopilot button is. There you go. We have control of our plane now. Let's just zoom in here a little bit. So I think we're going to want to come off to the right side of the airport here. And we're just going to come in for a straight in approach. We're not going to worry about uh, joining the circuit or anything like that. We're the only one out here and we make up our own rules today. So we're getting a couple of stutters here, so we must be loading in some scenery. Oh, maybe it's our weather updating. Um, but I noticed that our we're getting a few stutters here and there. So we should make our turn here. Getting off track a little bit. Well, let's slow down a little bit. We're going pretty quick. Not sure why we're having so many issues here with our sim running in the stutters here maybe something in the background is running like a virus protector or something like that looks like things stabilize a little bit but we were having some issues So, let's bleed off some airspeed here. Hopefully, we can get down. Still pretty high. Let's add some flaps in. All right, we're about 65 right now. And down, we're a little high, but we should be okay. But all the stutters are gone, so I don't know what it was that was causing that, but it must have been a virus protector or something running in the background. All right, let's flatten out here for, see if we can get a nice touch down here. There we go, we're down. All right, let's get off the runway here. Let's just stop right here. There we go, we got our e-brake on. We are down. All right, so welcome to Oxford Airport. All right, so let's get out of VR and we'll finish this off. 
All right, guys. So we've shut it down. Um, I miss my my video didn't uh, record some of that, um, unfortunately. So um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for flying with me and uh, keep the wheels off the ground. See you guys soon.